hoping to get an ultrasound today but they said I'll probably get one at 32 weeks so in two weeks technically I'm 31 weeks because tomorrow I'll be 31 weeks so maybe I'll get it next week but we'll see I'm just waiting on the doctor now it'd be funny if I could put him on my um, YouTube but we'll let him keep you know we'll let him have his privacy mm, such a cute little onesie mm-hmm. i'll put your phone down here i added him oh, on instagram nice. mm-hmm. oh that's so awesome So if you want to follow the page, we'll be even better, honey bun. All right. Thank you. So that was freaking neat. My doctor's on Instagram. I'm over here talking about wanting to put him on my YouTube. I'm still going to, you know, not film him yet. And that was a quick ass visit. Like I'm not even five, ten minutes after already leaving. I would say five. Um... Including, you know, getting my appointment. I'll be back in two weeks, like I said. And I got my paperwork. So, because I was talking about not uh, having registered for the... Ooh, get off me. For the doctor, for the hospital yet. So, I want to make sure that I get that done. It's bloody hot out here, honey. But I'll be alright. Um... I shouldn't be crossing right now, but there ain't no cars coming. Um, but yeah, so she gave me a little gift. They have this thing. It's like a giveaway or a contest. More, yeah, more like a contest, whatever that they're doing now for Carter's. And she gave me a little onesie. You saw like her folding it. It's got a little elephant on it. I just think it's so freaking cute. Even though my baby is a little unicorn. One of my favorite animals is an elephant. I have an elephant sculpture in my room. I have like a carved elephant necklace. I think it's out of ivory. And I hope it actually isn't real ivory. Because then that makes me feel bad. Um, matter of fact, I need to check on that. Ooh, your car making a weird old noise. I don't even know if my elbow was able to show you that because you know I'm at my elbow. My shoulder might have been in the way because I do have big ass shoulders and I cannot believe I just called my shoulder my elbow. 
Wow. But yeah, I'm just taking this walk up this street. I don't really have much else going on at the moment. What is this? Is this a park? Oh my goodness. This is a freaking park? Wow. I'm a little scared because I feel like I'm walking into like a lion's den. But then I see how it just took my attention. Look how fucking pretty. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse my language. This is a family channel. Wow. Look how deep that looks. Oh my gosh. I honestly am not going to go that far down here because nobody knows that I'm walking down here. But this is really freaking pretty. Wow. Oh, now I'm hearing bugs. It sounds like somebody's mowing a lawn or something. Wow. What in the heck is this? This is deep. I'm so nervous right now. Wow. What the heck is this? Okay, y'all. I don't want to go no further because I'm scared. Um, like I said, it's pretty damn deep down there. Oh, I see water. Okay. What is this? If if I was a, if I wasn't by myself, maybe I'd go further. But I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm starting to get gassy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my butt back around. <laughs> Honey, that was a pretty little park. I actually never knew that that existed. And that wasn't too loud. My face was right by the microphone. But yeah, the name of that park is Dixon Azalea Park. Never knew that existed. Never knew that existed. Um, so it was pretty nice. I had called my husband because he was actually supposed to be on break at the time. And he had wanted to talk to me. We, that's what we do when he goes on break, we talk. So I had hit his ass up. Kind of as some... Um, some form of a witness to me being in that little park just in case I uh, went missing you know god forbid but you gotta be precautious in this day and age but yeah that was actually uh, like a little photo shoot going on at the time when I was in there I was walking around it's a it's a big little area I would have filmed had I you know, had the ability to film and uh, talk on the phone at the same time. But I did snap a few pictures, so I'll insert them. But, honey, I'm sitting down now waiting for the bus. I was supposed to walk my butt all the way up that street and then hit a left, get my butt to the Colonial Plaza, but it's not happening. I'm hot. I don't know what the temp is out here right now in these streets, but I am sweating. Like, I don't even look as sweaty as I did before, but I can feel the sweat dripping down my chest. This is a feeling that I am really not used to. My freaking headphone wants to just be all over the place. It's a feeling that I'm really not used to. Um, I really think it's because I put on lotion instead of my body oil. Uh, I did it just so that I wasn't really out here ashy and my lotion smells really good too so um, I'm a little upset that I chose that option because I feel like I could have walked the same distance that I walked just now with body oil on and not have even perspired as much as I did because I'm talking about my face was damp like I was wiping like you could see like I was shiny that's how sweaty I was yeah I'm still freaking shiny I'm not with it. But, yeah, man. 
my back I could feel it dripping I had to take my socks off because I just needed some way to help me cool off a bit and I had just seen a, a restaurant that I didn't know was over here I don't think I knew and I was like honey I'm not making it no further I got a nice breeze right here there's a bench I'm sitting on now I'm in the milk district um, this is officially the milk district I've talked about it before uh, I'm in front of Sports Town Bar. Um, behind me this way is Gringos Locos. That was actually the restaurant that I didn't know was over here. I think I don't know. And um, yeah, there's a couple of other things. Um, actually, I think that's the bus right there. So let me get my butt up. I probably picked a bad time to start filming because it's windy. Even though it feels good. Yeah, I just got off my bus. I'm in my neighborhood. Um, I don't remember what the hell I was saying aside from me being in the milk district. But yeah, those are just some of the places that are highlights of the milk district. If you've uh, been to my channel prior to this video, then um, you may have seen my couple of vlogs where I've made attempts to go to Beefy King and finally got there because their dining room closes at three but um I am I guess you could say chums friends with the uh, owners of Beefy King so I have a meal deal ticket that was gifted to me by them such sweet freaking people so freaking cool like it's nice to meet people like that. But yeah, they know how much me and my mother love Beefy King. She's the one who put me on to it, my mom. So they gave me um, two meal deal tickets. I was supposed to go with my husband, but never went. So I used one for me, and now I have another one for me. Just need to go. I would have went today, but y'all already know. The whole sweating my whole life away because of this lotion. I didn't need to be outside no much longer. So yeah that's that <laughs> um i guess this probably should be the end of the vlog since i don't know if the rest of my day is going to be too exciting i'm going to walmart and to Dee Dee's later but i'll go ahead and catch up with y'all in the next one